Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Night in the Woods. And allow me to just preface this with a little information of why exactly I stomped yesterday. And because I was very much angry, upset, and even contemplating restarting. Because here I thought you could just go say, oh no, I'm gonna come back later, but then nope. And that upset me a tiny bit. And then I just resigned myself to, well, that's just how things are going. Also, he's high. No doubt. Oh. I thought I saw something. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Hmm. I'll try something quickly. Two, three. I figure not, but still. We need to really try that jumping challenge sometime again. Nope. Gum is gone. Just as I figured. You tell them no, they disappear. I'm going to be really upset if it actually is the... Oh, the side characters? Yeah, you can hang out with them and the day won't end. I'll be a little upset about that. Mainly because the other characters you can say no, but then come back to if you change your mind. Mainly because those are main characters, which makes me think that those are the more important ones and therefore the ones that don't just... Uh, diddly 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 but you know what I'm in? It's to win it, so I'm going to go search the graveyard with Bia instead. So I can be a sad. I don't know. Everything sucks. Forever. Even though I haven't gotten that line of dialogue in this game yet. But hey! Trailers! Hey, Bia. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool! But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Because the world is evil. The graveyard. Foggy. Always got the evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. That's a weird thing, getting sad over things not being spooky. Huh, that kind of looks like the janitor. Well, there's the statue. Woo, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now, and no one in power gives a shit. But they're actively making it worse. I was the spider prophet. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right, sorry. Okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. Oh, he's smiling. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on! He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine, that works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. <laughs> I 
A zombie bank man. Smiling outside your window. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally not a problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up there then. Let's check out a grave or three. Like, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be where I'm going. I'm just assuming. Yeah, I'll run or wander around upstate. See if there's anything around, because I honestly thought I would be able to go up the hill. Nope. Only downside to the art style. Oh. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she's born, the most high tech thing was horses. She had to look, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from she saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Catherine Fish. Ah, dang. Lived like 14 years. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. Should get off at least one good sentence in life. Good thing I came back this way. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. He was hit by a bike. <laughs> he lo He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. <laughs> Jeez, Bia. How long does a mom visit take? Tick-tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. Well, nothing really to say there. Kind of ah, kind of ah. It's kind of like, like hmm. Trying to think what to say to that. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yeah? That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make the his where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And, like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. How do I make my way up the hill? Hmm. I guess walk past around, maybe. I don't know. Won't let me up. Oh, there we go. Probably missed some dialogue and stuff down there, but didn't want to impose. But then again, could have also missed a character moment. Replayability! Hello, glowy light from the other game. Oh, it's you. Ho, oh, wary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers. Teens, they're weird teens. Oh. All right, well, we are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? 
<laughs> and you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? Done. It? <laughs> you heard me. How old are you, teens? Answer. No. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Somewhere before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ah, oh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex. <laughs> it wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Geez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dressed cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or who you're gonna like watch wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be like, grr, because I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? <laughs> Next question. What's your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! One time I farted... <laughs> One time I farted in front of the class. Ha ha ha. That's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh... Oh. God. Hmm... One time at bandit camp? <laughs> What do I want to go with? Multiple choice answers. Multiple choice answer question thing is that I don't know what will leave. This is more like character past building into her. So I guess college. One time at college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something, which is weird about college. It's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so I got up the nerve to talk to her, and I followed her out into the hallway. I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! She turned around and then, and all I could do was wave. Oof. This is funny. And, 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 and then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool to this door frame right behind me. And I heard, and I staggered back and, and fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. And my face went to the trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue! And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over. And I got up and the girl had, had, had. She'd watched all of it. And I tried to give her the smile like I had somehow meant to do that. But it turns out I'd swallow some of the trash. Spaghetti. And then I peeped all over myself. No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. Well, that's messed up. I'm gonna throw up thanks for nothing. You have come to face, to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Yep. That little animatic comedy sketch of, like, I don't know, like John Maury with the Night in the Woods visuals about how teens can just, or like 13, 14 year olds can just dig right into you right there. Maybe that's what that was based off, like, hey, this is, like, similar. So, like, ghosts. Ghosts. Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but, yeah. So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams, because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, people. Like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes. Echoes of shit that happened to people that were here. Oh. Trust me, none of the places look much... Look like... 
looked like super much fun. <laughs> Grammar me, I can't do it. Your mom was red as hell. Too red to hang there. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. All right, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Uh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop what you're probably gonna do? Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. I'm coming, ghosts. There's no way I'm gonna leave Bia behind. Ah, Beatrice, just learn to jump. Oh, off those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Branches! Alright. One, two. Ah, oh, need to. Need to all the way. One. Two, three! Damn it. One. Oh, come on. Two, three! Break! Open the gate! Bang. Haha! <laughs> Property damage! Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. You see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on, <laughs> knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. We already destroyed the gate. Like, with nature. Lots of graves down here in a gated place. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ah, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around? For ghosts? Ah, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I'm here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Friends, they are here for you. Any ghosts over there? No, Bia. You'd know. I'd say... <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought she was going to say, I'd say, scream. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. <laughs> and look this way. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem to be much. No ghosts from the looks of it. Unless it's very subtle. This is stupid! What were you expecting? Something! It's just stupid! He didn't pop out of the ground or anything! Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid! I'm gonna smash a sh- <laughs> Uh, whoa dude, hold up, no. Wacky wakey little Joe! Okay, that doesn't sound right. Oh! Holy shit! Holy shit! What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Ah, oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. Bia, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. 
We got it. We got more Mr. Miranda situation going on here. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you gonna kind of curious at least? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Oh, it's the opening minigame. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, I need to find the opening. There's the hatch. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Ah! That does not look like a skeleton. That looks like a corpse. So, what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. We're like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh, God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine. Jeez. It's the ghost. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know it was the ghost was a dude? Okay, fine. But he was there. May, it was the groundkeeper or something. Investigating who was running his graveyard. Who was running around his grave or something. I don't. How do you know a groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, guys, saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ah, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Camera staying. Oh. Thought we are going to see another ghost. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping all around like crazy. I don't know. I mean, I really am. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job doesn't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Well. Anything to say? Anything over here? Nope. Next time, I'm going to say yes to the people who are random people just saying, Hey, we want to hang out, because... Uh, life. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery, and we accidentally, like, opened a coffin. It was, like, totally the corpse of the ghost. Or, you know what I mean. Whoa! It was, like, effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed up his grave. Oof, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all that. You know it, dude. Good night as hell, brah. Good night as F. <laughs> hey, B, are you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sir, I kind of wrecked the cemetery. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean me to. Blah. I mean, what's a grave defile? <laughs> what's a grave defilement or two? How about the ghost, though? May seriously, it was the groundskeeper. <laughs> Pia, what? He was like right there. It was like totally the same guy from the other night. It was like a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. I could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy. Or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, fine, whatever. I'm sorry I made you mad. It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove. You came with me. <laughs> okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep. You need it. <laughs> I so do. Night, dude. Good night. <laughs> Scientist. Rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. That's wrong. Sharks don't attack people that much. Bedtime. That went quick, mainly because I already went through the day already. Just need to finish up to the night. 
But I need to make sure to go out and hang out with other people, the extracurricular people. What? I don't like... I don't like this. Yeah, I can see. I like this now. What could this be? It's much more pleasant than the other ones, because it's just the sky. Which probably means something bad's going to happen. There's explosions or something. Just walking in my dreamscape. Hopefully it is a dreamscape and not a nightmare one. Okay, shapes appearing. There's the moon. There goes the moon. Mine are like... Cat. Cat. Hello? Okay. Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've talked to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I'm here then and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were, like, bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... I, a great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You're swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Oh, hello, Outer Rim of Homestuck. Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I'm climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I'm tired of speaking with little creatures. I'm tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now, there is only the hole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon, they are dying. Soon, they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Why am I here, goddammit? 
Why was I chosen to see all this? Where's this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There's no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. Well, that's depressing. Ominous and depressing and speaks of the end of everything. I don't want things to end. I still have characters to hang out with. 